Hey, welcome guitar players and traders. It's John here from Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. I got a look at a real odd bird today from Fender. I got my hands on a 2017 Parallel Universe Strat Tele Hybrid. I got my reactions on our last live guitar haul, where I bought it in and told you how much of a headache it gave me to look at. And before I gave it much of a chance, I kind of dismissed it. So, let me tell you something, I was wrong. <laughs> This guitar is one of the best playing, best sounding Fenders I've played in a long time and I was absolutely thrilled at how it sounded, how it felt in my hands, and how it played. Today I'm going to show you a performance demo of the guitar and we're going to talk specs and look at reviews across the internet. We'll look at recent sales on Reverb and see what the guitar world had to say. It originally retailed in 2017 or 2018 for $19.99. Fender actually reduced the price after poor performance sales wise. A lot of guitars sat on the floor for a long time and there just wasn't much interest. I can tell you, if they had plugged it in and played it, they may have found differently as I found myself. Dave, shout out to you, thanks for lending us the Strat Tele. I ate my words, you were right, I was wrong. This guitar is fantastic, top notch quality. Let's dive into the specs and take a look. First, let's head to Fender's website. Splicing Fender DNA inside the Strat Tele Hybrid. If you had a clean sheet of paper and the ability to create a hybrid guitar, splicing the DNA of two of Fender's most iconic guitars, the Stratocaster and the Telecaster, this mashup would be a good place to start. exactly what Fender was thinking when they created the Strat Tele Hybrid, and it was a limited edition guitar as part of the first Parallel Universe series of guitars. It had the unmistakable body of a Telecaster, but everything else about it is basically a Stratocaster. It's everything you'd want out of Strat Tone. This guitar boasts 69 custom shop pickups, and they're beautiful, beautiful sounding pickups. <laughs> Lots of punch and body, I was really blown away. Fender sums it up pretty well. They said, it's kind of wrong, but it's right. And that is totally the idea. Something that surprised me, I didn't find a whole heck of a lot of information or pictures on it on Fender's website. The best resource I found for talking about this guitar was actually a website called musicplayers.com. I wanna give a shout out to Matt Abrams who wrote this article. Here's some great pictures. They're talking about a contoured Telecaster ash body with a nitro finish, glossy two-tone tobacco brown. That was the only finish that it was offered in. And the body's mostly a Telecaster in shape, but it does have Strat-like contours. Scale length is a standard 25.5 inches Fender scale. It's got a 9.5 inch radius and a newer what Fender calls a deep C neck, which is really only featured on higher end models. And this neck was in particular very comfortable. I actually have a blueprint from Fender as well. So you can get a look right up here at that first fret profile and 12th fret profile, but this neck was super comfortable and uh, super exciting to play. on the Strat Tele Hybrid. Pretty standard Strat wiring, nothing crazy here. But I will note that the actual materials from cloth wiring to quality of electronics and those custom shop 69 Strat pickups, everything about this guitar felt expensive and felt top notch. I was so impressed by the quality of the build on this guitar. Every single component felt expensive. All right, let's talk uh, prices today. So this is a guitar that came out in 2017, 2018. It didn't do so well. So what can you pick up this guitar for on the secondary market now? What can you buy one on reverb for? Looks like on the low end here, we've got one for $1,275, and on the high end listed here, we've got one for about $1,500. So that seems to be the going asking right. Let's look at actual closed sales on Reverb as well. Here's the real telling part. So you can see the trending prices. Uh, we see a recent sale in October 2020 for $1,100, followed by another one in September for $1,100. Uh, looks like the high point here is about $1,400 in mint condition. And the lowest I see is in excellent condition in 960. And let's talk ratings. There's really just not much about this guitar out there. I guess because it didn't do well, there's not a whole bunch of reviews, not a whole bunch of information. It's kind of been swept under the rug by Fender. And I found two uh, glowing reviews on Sweetwater. And if I was to add my own review, I would give this guitar dang near five stars. I loved, loved, loved this Fender Stratocaster Telecaster mashup. I thought it was absolutely fantastic sounding playing and the thing just inspired me to want to play. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and drop a comment as we go.